Hi everyone, it's Heather with Best Slayed Plans and I have a Thanksgiving plan with me for you guys today. What really was the focus for me this layout was these beautiful rose tones and the colors that were in the Fall Beauty Collection from Simply Gilded. And I've already gone ahead and done some of the washi. Um, specifically, I've used this and I'm gonna hold it up so you can see. It's got little pumpkins on it. I have to. And I've used that on the vertical edges. And then I have used this washi that has um, an open book page. Again, these are all like uh, copper colors in pinks. Um, and these kind of dusty roses and browns, and I just thought that would be such a nice kind of Thanksgiving color palette to choose. So here is a washi of washi. And the um, last one I've used so far, and I used it in this corner here, is this book spines and roses. So just so this video, again, won't be 600 minutes long, I've gone ahead and I put the washi down already. So the other thing that I wanted to use, and I think what I'm going to do is punch this, and on the back I'm going to do a um, words of gratitude and things that I'm thankful for, because it, I think it'll just match so well, but this is really what inspired me to do these colors, this beautiful card that was included with my Simply Gilded order. So that is, I'm just kind of keeping out for reference. The first thing I wanted to do after the washi was laid down is figure out how I wanted to embellish because this is a major holiday and I tend to do a little more decoration these days. Not necessarily because I have less to do, but um, I do tend to have like vacation time and so all of my regular work stuff is not necessarily going to be included in the layout. So what I've done is I've selected some fall themed photo stickers that I have started to place. I haven't put them down yet. I have to take the backing off just to see what that looks like and how I might want to lay things out. So I'm going to keep them where they are and then if I need to move them around later, I can. Same thing with um, this beautiful pink bow from uh, Bow Seal from Simply Gilded. So I have five different sticker books that I've got for this layout. Um, I'm sorry, six. I have six. <laughs> but I did go ahead and I went through and I have used page flags to pick what I wanted. Um, I think it's kind of funny that I'm use them, using the minimalist for this layout, <laughs> but that's me. Um, so I, I did want to go ahead and use the minimalist Planner Girl book because it has some beautiful box stickers that are in these sort of soft pastel coral peaches, pinks, and browns. And it, it's going to coordinate really, really well with the washi that I've chosen. So I want to go ahead and get started with Lang stickers. So the first one that I have is this what's coming is better than what is gone. And I think I would actually like to put this for the weekend here. So I might end up moving this sticker. See, that's why I didn't put them down yet. So let's see. And again, just using the same tones overall, even if there's lots of different patterns, it's going to really pull things together. I also like to use these really um, like mixed media patterned stickers and things with simpler stickers like this because that anchors it and it gives the eye something to focus on. Um, so you're not distracted by just stickers all over the place.
I'm also going to use this sticker here that says Day of Vacay. And I'm going to go ahead and put that here for Thursday, which is the day of Thanksgiving. I have Thursday and Friday off. Yay! <laughs> So I'm going to keep on going through, I have a lot of stickers from The Minimalist, it's probably the main sticker book I'm using. So for the notes column here, I'm going to use this long sticker from The Minimalist book. I'm going to turn this because I want to make sure it's even and that's the easiest way to do that. There we go. So again, seeing we're using similar hued stickers that match the washi tape, keeping everything in perspective. So then for the bottom here, because you can still see some of the text that was there, I wanted to use a different text. And in the Minimalist book, it has this take what you need today and pass some along. And I really love that message. And I thought it was very appropriate for this time of year and this season. So I'm going to add that. And then I'm going to use this out of the office sticker for Friday as well. And then also from that same page, they have these checklist boxes. And I thought that this would be so cute for the day of Thanksgiving because I will need to bring some things. We're not doing a large family get together like we would normally. Um, we usually drive up to um, a different city where my cousins live and have a big family Thanksgiving. But because of the pandemic, we're just going to be my mom and my brother and I. Um, and we've been quarantining and everything. So that is something that... we're going to do and I'm going to be bringing stuff. So I got the checklist and I really wanted to use this pink bow. And I think I'm going to actually put it right here. So you see, I've already moved the stickers. Um, that's why I didn't put them these decorative stickers down yet, because I'm going to need to move some stuff around. And then I have this sticker that says, Gratitude Every Day. And I'm going to put that... the center here. Then I have some more boxes. I have to pull the sticker up a little bit to get this one down, but whenever I'm laying down stickers, I'm sh I'm usually very very light with the with kind of putting them down because I don't know if I'm going to end up needing to move them or reposition them. I 
I like that a lot. And I have two of those stickers. Normally, I'd have a bunch of things like trash pickup and other stuff on Wednesdays and Thursdays, but because of the holiday, they won't be doing that. So it'll be just a little bit different. For my exercise tracker, I have this weekly checklist. I'll put that down here. And then also from the minimalist book, I have this today's list and I'm going to set that here. And then I'll move the other on to Sunday. So the bulk of the stickers that I use definitely came from the minimalist book, if you're wondering where to find those. So now I am moving on to the Simply Lovely sticker book. And I wanted to use some of these checklists that are the hearts and they're scalloped. So for Sunday... dropping things everywhere. So I keep on forgetting that these aren't actually down on the page yet. I think I might put them down after I finish putting these checklist boxes down. We'll have some for Thanksgiving Day. Sometimes um, certain washi stickers will stick on it really well and sometimes they won't. So it just depends. I have to push down a little harder there. And then I've got a longer checklist for Monday. And I do have work on Monday, so. Yeah, it looks like, I think it's because they're foiled. So I'm gonna have to press down a little bit harder to get them to stay. So there was a couple other stickers I wanted to use from this book, or at least to check. So I had these bows. I thought I would use this light green bow that matched some of the light green in the washi tape here. And I was going to stick that right there. And I also liked this grid paper kind of heart. So I'm going to stick that on Tuesday.
And then in the Simply Lovely book, there are some to-do stickers, some laundry, and some basic stuff. And I want to use some of those, so I'm probably going to need to be doing laundry later this week, as well as tidying up, especially after the holiday. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to have that for Saturday. And then I want to use this family time sticker also for Thanksgiving Day. Ah! <laughs> I promise I'm not trying to knock down my video. <laughs> so then I've got the free spirit book. And I think there's only one group of stickers for that book. And it is these flowers. And as you can see, I have the soft orange and green. And then on the next page, rose gold foil. So I'm going to actually layer these stickers. So I'm going to start with this orange. And then green. And then I'm going to do a larger one here. And then I'm going to take the rose gold foil and I'm going to layer it. So it is just slightly on top. And you can see the color peeking from underneath it. Layering stickers is a very good trick if you want to add more visual interest into your layouts. And then we have this big one over here. So before I get into the rest of the decorative stickers that I picked out, I think what I'm going to do now is actually, um, since they've sort of ended up where they're going to go. I'm going to take the backs off of these and I'm going to put these stickers down. So I'm going to do that and then show you what that looks like. All right, I am finally down to the last sticker book, the fall season book or autumn season. And I have got just a few stickers from this that I am in charge of bringing pie this year. So I need to add pie to my checklist. And then fall baking for Wednesday. See, I don't like that. <laughs> Sometimes I, you put a sticker down and you're like, mm, nope, I take that back. And I think it's because these are darker orange and I don't really see myself using a darker orange. Even though I do have to pick the pie. 
I think maybe the pie slice might be a little bit better. So I'm going to put that right here, kind of layered in. So I think that's all I'm going to use from this book right now. And I'm going to go back to the Homebody Seasons because it had some more fall stickers that were, they were muted um, and a little bit more appropriate. So I have these pumpkins and this one says today is a great day. And then this says, put your heart into it. Okay, so I think I think I'm done with my stickers. I did want to clean up some of these washi lines down here. It looks like this one is just a little bit off. So I'm going to just do a straight line. All right. So I usually do the month up here and I've already layered some washi. I think for the month, instead of using like a November date sticker, I'm gonna take the copper letters that are in the fall book and I'm gonna use that just so everything matches really nice. We'll just do NOV for November. And I think we're done. Thank you guys so much for joining me for this plan with me. I hope you have a safe and happy Thanksgiving or um, whatever you may be doing this weekend, depending on where you are in the world. I'm so grateful to all of you and to the planner community. And I hope that you are excited for the holiday season yet ahead. Thanks so much. Bye.